right, we got the recording going. Uh, but yeah, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, what we wanted to do for the remaining weeks of the semester. Uh, was, as we know, it's week 10. Uh, there are 15 weeks in a semester, and then finals week is the week 16. Yeah, five more weeks of regular classes and then finals. Um, what I was thinking about doing was um, Thanksgiving break is in between weeks 13 and 14. Um, and so we have week 10, so that would mean either four or five clubs left before finals. And so what my, what basically I was thinking about was, do you guys wanna go to week 14 or week 15? Um, a lot of universities, what they often do is they have a sort of dead week where uh, there's not really much going on and you can use that as a time to study for finals. Western does not do that formally um, at all. No, no, it, it does suck. Like um, straight up, some professors will just have labs on the last week. That's how I, no, I was talking to a couple of them and they're going to go through the program. I got my issue okay. Yeah, there have been talks, like official talks trying to get like some sort of dead week established at this university, but as it stands right now, that is not a thing. And so my question to you guys would be, would you guys want to make the last meeting of the semester week 14? That would be the week after Thanksgiving. Uh, that, would, uh, that would probably be our last meeting. We would finalize the e-board and then we'd probably just have like a cool activity. Um, we were thinking about doing Jackbox games. Ooh. Those are pretty fun. Those can be played online as well if you guys wanted to join online then. So that would probably- I played someone with my boyfriend's brother and a couple of his friends and they would have just Jackbox, <laughs> Jackbox games like, can be crazy. So but, wow. but there are a lot of fun. So we'll probably do something like that our last meeting. Um, so would you guys want to do that like week 14 and we can give you guys week 15 as a sort of break where you guys can study, make sure that you guys are good to go for finals. Or if you guys wanted, we could also go to week 15. Um, I just wanted to hear your guys' feedback. Which would you guys rather do? And now we're all online, honestly, isn't so much. And it's not like the being here is stressful. Yeah. yeah. It just depends on what activity you do. If it's laid back or relaxed, I feel like I would probably just do joining over here. Right. Because I need to work with the things I'm going to do. No. Okay. So what I'll probably do then, yeah. <laughs> so are you saying you want like to do 15 minutes rather than 14 or anything? Yeah, we need 15 would be better. Okay. Well, so the main thing that really appears to me would be when we need to open up the uh, election because we have a set process in our constitution that states before the election, you have to get two weeks notice one week being we announced that we are going to elect the next week. Then that next week, I believe we actually we do the elections that week and then so yeah, so the official elections process is we uh, one week we have to just announce that elections are happening. The second week we take nominations for the elections, and then week three we like actually elect the people. In. So basically if we ended on 14 and two weeks from today we are officially announcing it. It would be the week after next that we would have to announce it. Yeah, so um, then we do week 15, we just do week 13, we would announce it. Then 14, we take the nomination. 15, you would get up here, tell us why you would make the best. If there's like people applying for the same role. Yeah, if there are people applying for the same role, then that's what we would do. Yeah. Um, but yes. Yeah, yeah. so I really don't want to be. Yeah, that's the big thing is Anthony's a grad student, and so um, he did it this semester basically because uh, this uh, the semester or the, the club was so small last semester. Um, and so you want to make sure that someone was in that role. But yeah, so definitely consider if you guys want to be a part of the club at all, um, definitely think about that. I'll get in contact with a couple of you. Um, the role, it really is a good resume booster. Like truly, it's a, it is a good thing to have in your resume to be a part of a club, uh, club's e-board. And uh, additionally, it doesn't have to be a big time commitment at all. Um, but yeah, what I'll probably do for the remaining part of the semester is I will put a uh, a poll in Discord saying if you guys would rather have the last meeting be week 14 or week 15. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I wanted to discuss. Um, the main the main thing that we wanted to do with this meeting is Anthony and I, Anthony and I put together a presentation regarding classes and also minors uh, for year LGBTQ. Major WA. I know it's registration time for a lot of us. And so um, there's also been a lot of discussion about classes and whether or not we should take this or that. Um, in the Discord, so I figured this we we figured this would be a good time to discuss those kinds of things. So I think we'll start out with Anthony then. Uh, he will talk about um, classes in his presentation. Share the screen for you guys. Share the full screen. That's fine. <laughs> 
I know uh, with like we were like the first couple of days, it's like, oh, the brain, different models disagree or whatever, right? And it's just like, oh, it's just <laughs> like five percent chance. That's how it goes. Oh, there's on the uh, head there. I think that works. Does that work? That does not work. Just press the screen. That works. That does not work. Wait, slide it. There you go. Ah, so the right. so, as most of you know, here at Western, we have two to three options apply and operation. Uh, basically, the applied option is if you don't want to do math, you can't handle math. Uh, but what we do, what we want you to do is, if you want to do it here, we want you to go the operational route. And if we find out you cannot do it for some reason, the math might get you know, or something else, um, we have a fallback option with the applied option. So, for example, when I first came here, there were eight of us in my class. Um, when I left here, I was the only one in the class still in the program. Um, Seven of them switched majors uh, to something else because they didn't want to do the math. Uh, and that was before we had this applied option. And so now, if we would have kept that applied option and had seven more kids, um, I would have stayed there. Uh, and so that's what is uh, unfortunate about those kids. But now we have that option and we can keep you all here uh, no matter what. They do like the idea. one thing I couldn't awesome. figure out. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to kind of go over, I'm going to briefly go over these because general education requirements and what you can take. And I think in an upcoming meeting, we're actually going to talk about how to read the board report, uh, which is very, very, that's your literally your, that's your Bible to school. Um, everything in there will tell you what you need, what you don't have, uh, what class, what are your options to take as far as, you know, classes to that section in that work report, which is what you need to graduate. Um, it's not too complicated. Um, no matter what you do with that, it's, it's really easy. It took me uh, five minutes to figure out what was going on, but there are a lot of different options in there for you. Um, and so if we go forward here, communication skills, you have to take these classes. Uh, 180, 280, and Compute 21. Huh? I hate like Compute 21. Uh, but, uh, Either one of these works 241 or 242. Um, don't quite know what the difference is. 242 might actually be a little bit better, maybe. Um, it kind of talks to you about you know, how to actually give speech to the public. Uh, very important, and that's something that we're going to focus in on the future, maybe, is more communication within the program. Um, then you need natural science and mathematics. I'm going to really briefly touch on these because no matter what class you take in meteorology, you're going to have math and science. So these are your options. I'll kind of let you get a look at if you want to kind of spread your wings, I guess, and not use all of your geography and meteorology classes. Um, you can take some computer science. Obviously, all the biggest stuff you'll have, um, you know, the option to take, and most of it you will take. Uh, take some honors courses if you're in the honors program. Uh, mathematics, you'll take the calc you'll take 133, 134. Uh, which one did you recommend? Yeah, I can, I can speak to that. Yeah, say we both took that class, so it, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to the math minor, I think. Um, physics, obviously, if you're not good at physics, maybe take an introductory class to physics before when you can. When should you start doing physics? Probably after Calc 1, you're good to go. Uh, don't, obviously, you need one for you. Well, you don't, I guess you don't need one for you. Do you have When you have like kind of a low in class, Physics, you can work it. It's yes. like every day, and it's like so. It's just you get what you want to talk about physics. Because Jennifer didn't put me with physics next semester. Yeah, you know, don't, don't start with physics too. Start physics one. Sorry, what? Don't start with physics two. Start physics one. Because she's like, no, I know she didn't put me in physics in. For, yeah, for next semester, no. It's only physics two, Doctor. It goes physics one in the fall, physics two in the spring. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so she'll so probably take it next year. Oh, okay. Um, or you can wait another year if you wanted, which is fine. You can take your senior year, but uh, you know it's it's not terrible, um, but it's something that you know once you get to the math and some of the meteorology courses, once you've taken them, it kind of makes more sense what's going on. Uh, so yeah, those are some 
physics classes. Social sciences, these are kind of becoming more important here. Um, I, I will say this about this presentation. It is being recorded and eventually Brandon will put this whole thing onto the website. And so it will be there for on the website so you can look at it. Um, and it will always be on YouTube. So if you want to go back to it, look at this, you can. Um, so these are the classes you can take for social science, anthropology, communication. Um, you know, I didn't take a whole lot of these um, myself, but it's all right. Economics, if you want to go the economic route, some people do. Uh, general honors, geography, um, political science. We'll get more into the political science aspect uh, towards the end of the presentation. Why did someone have asterisks? Um, they're dual category course. So students may only count the dual category course to satisfy the requirements in one general education category. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about that, but um, that's what the asterisk means. Um, psychology, sociology, this is becoming more important. Um, and if you minor in this, obviously you're going to take you know, most of these classes here. Uh, women's studies, if you want to take a women's studies course, this is what counts. Um, social scientists for two credit hours. Um, the humanities and fine arts, nine study hours, same thing with that asterisk. Um, uh, you know, one course must come from humanities and one course must come from uh, fine arts. Uh, let's see, you know, you can either choose either humanities or fine arts course, either or after you've completed, you know, one humanities and one fine arts, you have the option to choose. Uh, but you can't take any more courses in uh, from one, any one grouping. Um, and so these are some of the options here with, you know, African American studies, broadcasting, and journalism, communication. Your English options. Um, and so some of these are interesting, um, but you know, most of these seem kind of boring to me. But um, foreign language, if you want to do the foreign language route, maybe learn some Portuguese. That sounds kind of fun. Um, you know, if you ever, well, you know, you, some, some people might want to go learn some Portuguese. Maybe. Is that the NWA part? What's the name? Is it just Yeah, no, it's not bad. Spanish is good. Um, you know, that we do teach ASL in um, speech language pathology if you want to go that route. They do offer uh, an ASL class. Um, so let's see, general honors, obviously history. Oh, history brings me some nightmares, but uh, you know, it's, it's, you just choose one of these. Um, if you like one of these, you know, whatever option you want, philosophy, Religious studies, women's studies, you have to choose one from these categories, at least one. Fine arts, you know, one again, whether that's African American studies, whether that's art, music, theater, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Basically, you can you have to choose one from fine arts, one from humanities, and then one from either other, or either or. I don't know why I said either other. Um, but that's what you have to do to complete that. Um, multicultural studies, you just need one class, really, three semester hours. Um, Af, you know, African American studies, maybe some agriculture if you're interested in ag stuff. Um, anthropology, uh, let's see, art, business and technology, broadcasting and journalism, uh, economics, English, foreign languages again. There's so much stuff you can take uh, in this multicultural studies. You just need one class. Um, geography, general honors, health education. Look at all the history classes that we count. Um, and so, you know, there's so much stuff here. Uh, it's basically you just history of flight culture. What the hell is flight culture? Take a class, but by now. You know, the most interesting, the most interesting one to me definitely would be the Holocaust one. That just sounds like a ticket for depression, honestly. No, I mean it just it just sounds like it would be an interesting class to learn more about, you know, what went on. I've been to the Holocaust Museum. Um, yeah, that's that once. I don't yeah, need to go to that. Okay, I went to one in New York. The one. I went to Washington, D.C., and I cried. I feel like I went to both. The one in D.C. was pretty bad. Or not, well, bad as in sad. But what is one that's really like a couple of words called shoes? Oh, damn, don't remind me of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. So that's something that you, you know, I think that class would be interesting. Why would you? Let's see. Political science, you know, psychology, queer studies, religious studies, um, you know, like I said, all you have to do is one class for these. Um, so pick and choose what you think you would like to be interested in. Uh, like information systems, liberal arts, nutrition, uh, music, philosophy, 
so many different options here. Um, both like look at other sociology, theater, women's studies. Um, some of these, you know, just seem really interesting. Um, then we go into human well-being. Once again, you just need one class. Um, let's see. Let's see. Students may select any combination of courses. From this. Yeah. I think you need one class. No, it's, a, it's actually two courses. Oh, okay. The, the reason for that is because every freshman is required to take University 100, I think, uh, courses. Yes. Or they might be that. Uh, uh, I don't know if they're requiring it, but I do. Well, regardless, when I had to take it, that was a one semester hour course that fell into this category. And then after that, you just do like a two hour course, that's like a two hour five weeks course that covered that. That's, that's what they did. Yeah, so most of this, like for me, this is all kind of new for me because I've transferred in here. So, you know, all of my stuff is already complete at my community college. So, this one I actually kind of like a little bit more. There was your finance class. Um, so, you know, if you want to be active, kinesiology, I kind of thought about taking the golf class next semester. You want to take a golf class with me? <laughs> I mean, it was all right, but it would have been better. What you learn? Yep, dancer signs. Um, yeah, you have to take both things. I thought about it. Yeah, I think I was pretty stuck. It's up to you. Well, it's the second. It's theory. 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 Um, so yeah, I mean the kinesiology aspect obviously for me that would be what I would go down. But some of these are, you know, think well, you could take three different classes in the kinesiology to get yourself going and then another class somewhere else. Swimming is easy. Yeah, the swimming is awesome. Oh, we can do you can do tennis. Tennis. Oh, tennis. 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 Yeah. So that's what so this is what uh, Ian was saying with University 100. Um, take that and then one other class would count. Um, and so, you know, RPTA, if you haven't been out to uh, Holland Field campus, highly recommend going out there and venturing around. It's a fun time out there. Um, and so now we get into the actual operational, uh, what you need to complete this to meet the National Weather Center requirements. Uh, so this one is the one that you really want to pay attention to. Um, but it is important to note that most students, when they get ready to graduate, they will actually notice they've completed all of these. All of these are fine. But they're one or two semester hours short in those gen eds. So you have to really keep an eye on those gen eds. And why that word report is so important is because you're going to find out that is what tells you what you need and what you don't need, what you completed, what you haven't completed. Um, whenever we get to that presentation, uh, we're going to really dig into that. And that's going to be a good one for you guys to uh, listen to as well. So if you want to do the operational option, um, you have to take Calc 1, Calc 2, Meteorology 120, and Physics 211. Um, those are, I think these are the, yeah, the, you have to, these aren't the core classes, but uh, these are classes you must take. Um, yeah, you know. I think you should take uh, Calc 3 and is that you take those two? Yeah, yeah, so that's the next one. So these one, hmm? I think that was, that was in school. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, um, and these are these are courses that the core courses that you have to take uh, 301. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, these are like, whenever you go online and look at this, this is the one. Very first thing that pops out is this. I kind of made the order because I copied all this online um, on the website. So, um, and then you go to the core courses, which is 301 with Dr. Choi. All it is is statistics. Geography 405, I believe, is with Dr. George now. Um, and so, what you do is basically what most people do will take your project that you did in 301 and then you write a research paper about it in core line. Uh, that's what most people do. Uh, or you can come up with a completely new one or a proposed one. Uh, that's why I took it. I don't know how different it would be for Dr. Ford or Dr. Um, but and then you have meteorology 322, which is synoptic, and then environmental climatology, which is 327. I believe that one is offered in the spring semesters. Yes. Um, and then what? that's physical meteorology. 329 is 
So, okay, so, and then, <laughs> and then, yeah, so these ones, you, know, you have to take these, um, and then these you have to also take 34 semester hours of Calc 3, uh, differential equations, synoptic meteorology 2, dynamic meteorology 2, physical meteorology, and the second semester of physics. Um, and so, I mean, you know, these are all fairly easy. Uh, I mean, I, I suck at math, but I got two. One is hard. Yeah. They're all hard. What's hard? Not necessarily. Calc is hard. Calc three is easy. Calc three is easy if you like. If you like Calc one, you'll love Calc two. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. Are freshmen like always turn to the three hundred and twelve hundred level two? Yes, yeah. you're probably taking three twenty seven next semester. That's what a difference. Is. She put me in. Three twenty-seven and four thirty-two. Yeah. So the only prereqs for those classes are um, one twenty, right? Uh, one twenty for four thirty-two and Cal one. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Okay, but I'm taking Cal one next semester. Like, you should I'm be. Okay. Right now. Okay. I was behind in my math, and I was taking like, oh, this semester. Yeah. Or last, really, like, you should be okay for next semester. I'm not sure how Doctor uh, Troy will teach it, but. Like, there's anything. Yeah, so but it's like the workload too much because it's like the 300 level thing. No, no. The 3, 327, I think you'll have stuff to do what? Was it once a month? Or was it more than once a week? What is 327? No, it's climatology. Climatology is just two exams and a project. Yeah. Um, yeah. For me right now, I'm at 327 and it's, uh, I don't have any. Are you at 327 or 337? Oh, 337. Yeah. Is that the other one? Oh, that one's so good. Okay. Yeah, I it really yeah, it's it's not too bad. What's up? Um, what are your other classes? Oh, I have them written down. Okay, math one thirty three, which is the top one. Meteorology three twenty seven, four thirty two. Um, geology four thirty. Four that's hazards. Oh, I know that's a fun. Hazards is fun. Yeah, I think fun. Yeah. And then I think geology one. Oh, that's very cool. Yep. Well, if, it, if, it's all, if it's all online, just do the work like the first week and you don't have to worry about the rest of the semester. Yes. Yeah. Is, it, yeah. is it geology or geography? Yeah, it's geography. Okay, okay. I'm going to take Well, I have the option between geography 430 or geology 115 with Camille. Well, either one of those are fine. Um, yeah. You're going to need both at some point. Yes. Okay. Um, so take you know I would take 430 because it's not offered every year. Y'all need 115 on here. Okay. Um, so 430 I would definitely take over 115. And then I might also look at GIS 202. Good idea. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's not bad. Um, then those classes aren't terrible. Um, you know, as long as like, like, biggest thing you got to keep in mind is when the classes are offered and when they're not offered. Because you already put 30 offered every other year. It's not offered every spring. Physical theology, I don't think it's going to be offered every spring. Um, I would think it's going to be every other year now. It used to be offered every fall, but now I think it's going to be offered every other year. Um, so that's the other thing to keep in mind with these classes is the physics and the math, those are on set things, they're never going to change whatsoever. Yeah. Um, meteorology classes right now, obviously, you know, that's not picking dynamic flip every year, so that's fine. Physical, we believe, I, I'm pretty certain that it's going to be every every other spring because there's just so much going on. Um, now, real quick, before you move on, yeah. I just want to say, please do not let certain people <laughs> scare you about the math. Yeah. The math really is not that bad. It doesn't have to be, um, and it should. There will be plenty of people to help you. Um, yeah, the large support system. Yeah, we will. That's what I've been freaking out about. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it'll be perfectly fine, and it is the jobs of those professors as well as Dr. Finch. She will help you if you have any questions. And that's like seriously, don't hesitate to go ask her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't don't let them scare you if they're they're fine. Okay. Yeah. I will say, pro tip. I already said it. Come to us before you 
go to Broncos Fields and go to the yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never went to Rockies. Yeah. Um, and so here are the directed electives. 403, I don't know if it's ever coming back. Um, I don't I don't know because I don't think we have a teacher that can teach it currently. Um, or that is well knows well enough to teach it. Uh, but we're gonna try to bring it back. Uh, me and I will be 300, offered every other fall, we'll be offered next fall, we'll be offered in the fall of 20. Um, 425, it's offered in the fall, but it's like not a class, but it is. Um, it's like, there's only like, how do I put it? Um, there's only like three openings typically, and like for the class, yeah. So basically, it's not a full class, you're not going to meet. Um, you have to have special permission to take it because I think it's more directed for people in the broadcast that need this. 425 instead of all, I mean, I want to take it, but I have not think. Um, so to take it? Yeah. Right. And so he said it was going to be offered as a full class soon. Maybe next spring, um, but I don't know. I can't guarantee that. If you ultimately want to take it, you can likely take it. But like I said, I don't think you can, you have to have special permission. And so I don't know exactly what that entails for that class. Um, but instruments is definitely a take. Um, you're going to need to take that for uh, the NWS anyway. Um, so we will need to take that much? Yeah, definitely take uh, instruments. Because 402, like I said, I don't know if it's coming back. Um, satellite radar, you can take it if you want. Like I said, it's just special permission. I don't think it'd be any issue getting into it. Do you talk about instruments and ready to do research on this too? Maybe not. Taking um, a special permission, um, talking about your bench, if you want to like, to create your own forms so that you can get ready to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with that, I think you're limited to only one. Yeah, so you can't if, only do that if you're in a pinch. Because if you're not in a pinch, then you can always have that in your back pocket. Um, because that's something that, like for me as a grad student, I have taken all the GIS classes because this is I've been here for four years. And so for me, I have nothing left to take. And so I'm kind of on my back, you know, I'm ready to try to figure out what to do. And so that's kind of an option that I'm doing is going that route. But, you know, like I said, if you have to take, if you have to go that route, do it. Um, other than that, try to find something outside that might help you later on the road. You know, go into emergency management, go into more sociology, go into psychology, go into ag, go into poly sci. There's so many different. Take a writing class, take a public speaking class, another one, and get yourself going. Um, take a public relations class. You know, there's so many other classes you can take that will help you in the future. Um, that are out there that you might not know about or think about you, but sometimes you gotta think outside the box and see what will help you later on through. Um, and that's really, really, really important um, as far as what you want to do with your career. Um, okay, so moving forward here. So you select two of the following courses here, and I'll I'll dig deeper into this in a minute um, as to why you have to take these or two of these, and I'll you know it'll it'll come up here in a minute. Wait, on the last page, do we have to select one? Yeah, any one of those. Yeah. I think I think uh, any of those classes all fulfill the same end of the US requirement. Yeah, they do. Um, because you have to, yeah, it's instruments and all those are instruments, I think. Yeah. They're counted as instruments. Um, and so here, um, like I said, here in a minute, I'll show you why these are important, or some, most of these. Are important. Uh, Cam, take Cam if you want. If you like Cam, if you like physical meteorology, you should take chemistry to kind of understand, you know, a little bit more of the chemics, the chemics, the chemistry behind it. Um, CS one fourteen, not too bad to take, especially when we get into um, coding and synoptic. You're going to do a lot more coding with Python, uh, Biz five D. Um, what's the other one? Um, IDB. IDB, all that coding. You can learn some coding in there and learn coding on your own too. Uh, Child before 30 natural hazards, you'll learn about earth, uh, air, and uh, you know, earthquakes, tornadoes, and volcanoes, volcanoes and rocks, and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Geology 115, super, super easy class. Most of that you're already going to know. Very well, easy. Yeah, yeah. 
Weather Service requires. So you have to have six semester hours of atmospheric dynamics and thermodynamics. So that's your dynamical meteorology classes. Um, six semester hours of analysis, prediction of weather systems, synoptic classes here. Three semester hours of physical meteorology. Obviously, we, we were doing that. Um, two semester hours of remote sensing of the atmosphere and or instrumentation. So that could be radar the uh, remote sensing class or the weather instruments class, all of those um, get that one knocked out. Six semester hours of physics with one lab session, both 
of your physics classes, I believe, are four hours um, and include a lab hour. Uh, so you have labs for both physics one and two, three semesters of ordinary differential equations, um, and then at least nine semester hours of work of either physical hydrology, which is the hydrogeology class, statistics, which I believe is 301 counts for that one, um, chemistry, that's 201. Um, so that, that would fill that if you want to take chemistry 201. Physical oceanography, that's geology 115. Physical climatology, that is literally environmental climatology. Radiative transfer, that's a physics thing if you're interested in that stuff. Aronomy, um, I don't know a whole lot about aronomy. I don't think so either. Advanced thermodynamics, physics 354. Advanced electricity and magnetism, that's physics three. Light and optics is physics four. And computer science is just CS114. Um, if you wanted to go on any of those, that's why I said that this website will, or those classes I was talking about would come in handy um, later on because you have to follow this or they will literally throw your um, resume in the trash. This is where kids get lost right here. If you do not do this, your resume to the National Weather Service will get thrown in the trash. Um, yeah, it'll get, it'll get posted. Like I said, this whole thing will be on the website. It'll be on um, uh, the YouTube. Um, the link's right here, too. So uh, if you want to just click on it. Yep. I just want to highlight what you're talking about to go back to that page. Sure. Basically, the reason why we tell meteorology majors to make sure that you look out and why we uh, are going to teach you in a, in a future meeting to read your board report is because uh, there is a problem that sometimes meteorology majors run into in which they meet all the requirements for graduating with the degree, but they miss um, one of these requirements. So like we were talking about, like all this, this is dynamic one and two, synoptic one and two, physical meteorology, and then it's like, that's fine. Um, this right here is just physics. Uh, this right here is coordinate differential equations. All those are fine. And then in this last category, um, to cover the statistics, we have 301. And to cover the, what's the other one? Climatology, we have 327. But those, that's it. That Technically, those are the only classes you need to graduate with the degree. But the problem is that you've only completed six out of the nine hours here. And so if you don't remember that you have to take one more three hour credit, three credit hour class from this category, you can graduate without the National Weather Service certification. And so that's why we recommend that you take um, physical oceanography, that's geology 115 that we were talking about. That fulfills that last requirement. Um, that's why we also say, oh, thermodynamics if you want, computer science if you want, that kind of thing. Go ahead. So would they just take that, I don't know, over the summer, if they only have like, if they have to take, if they only have three hours left, but they just have to take one of those over the summer and they're fine. Typically, what ends up happening is you have to come back next semester because those won't be options. Right. That's why it's important to you know your work. Just to take one class. Those yeah. are the options. Yeah. Yeah. Most of these just aren't offered in the summer just because that's the only yeah. drop. So that's why we're going to draw a lot of interest to the word report. Um, but the word report won't tell you this. This is something you have to remember because if you if you miss out on this, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna not meet the requirements and everybody like I said, uh 13 but she doesn't be yeah. Are you going over every board report tonight? No. Um, no. I mean, actually, I, I can do it either next meeting or the meeting after, whatever works. Yeah, because yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's perfect. We won't do it tonight because it's already 6 45 and so yeah. it's getting a little late. So um so we're doing the physical comment right? Yeah, yeah, two one six, so that's already so if you do those two, that's not if you take the chemistry back. Yeah, yeah. Gem, 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 gem. No, gem chem is 201, right? I have no idea. I didn't take it here. Because I know 201 here is the um, the thing that requires or that covers that. Um, I, if you took AP Chem in high school, that also covers it. Technically, I don't even take oceanography because I took AP Chem in high school. I just um, took gem chem in college. Gotcha. So, so yeah. like a precursor to I, make sure see what it transfers us. Yeah. Because if you didn't take it here, is it? So if it's 201, then you're good. But if it's not 201, then you do Yeah, that info is also on your board report. Yeah. So. so it'll, yeah. So I mean, that, like I said, that right there is very, very good point where you bring that up. That is very important to remember uh, what's going on. Okay, so I'm a freshman here mm -hmm. this year, but I came in with 48 with little credit hours. Okay. And some of them are like, I don't know, like 
I already have those for us, and mm -hmm. then I don't have like which ones I have. So, so whenever we go over the work report, we can definitely help you out there. Or you can stick around and open up your work report. Okay, that's all. Right. We can do because I just don't want to double up because I. Like, uh, yeah, like, you know I'm a lot yeah. yeah. I know, I knew, um, my chemistry teacher, not AP, so that AP chemistry is going to help you out a lot. So I was going to take it, but because of COVID, I ended up out one class. And I didn't want to, like, you know how the AP test was all screwed up because of that. And, like, I didn't want to mess up, so I just didn't take it. So I don't know. I like chemistry. I did too. I, I hate it. I took, we had a really bad I'm going towards the applied. Um, uh, in the entire 6.5, I know some people are already. Uh, what we can do is that we can um, put this part off until the next meeting because I will also be going over major or minor system. That uh, links very heavily into the applied neurological option. And so, um, would that be okay if we guys ended this year? We could talk about that and we can also dig into the report that week as well. Yeah. Um, so we can work out for you guys. Okay, I have my board report open. Okay, can we stop the share? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you should teach your coach. Um, to anyone online, um, if you guys ever have any questions about uh, your board report or classes that you want to take, um, you can, um, I would say, probably email me or uh, Anthony. Uh, you can also message us on Discord. Uh, so we can have a um, but yeah, we will continue this meeting in a part two, probably next meeting, uh, where we talk about the applied meteorology options. Okay. So, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can stick around and ask me in chat or something like that. Uh, so